नमस्कार आई वेलकम एवरी वन टू सी वाई पी योग साधना सेशन सो लेट एस बिगिन द योग साधना विद अ प्रेयर प्लीज सिट इन अ कंफर्टेबल सीटेड पोस्टर क्लोज योर आईज bring your palms together in namaskar mudra observe your breath inhale deeply and exhale completely Let us chant the prayer together. Keep your palms on your eyes. Gently remove and open your eyes. So I welcome everyone again for the CYP Yoga Sadhana session. So let us start the session with loosening practices. Please stand up for loosening practices, sir. Yes. So relax your whole body. Close your eyes. First of all. Feel the entire weight of your body on your feet. Relax your whole body. Now slowly we will move towards the neck practices. We'll begin with the neck practices. Open your eyes. Keep your feet 2 inches apart and place your hands on your waist. first of all we'll start with forward and backward bending of the neck now exhale and slowly move your head forward with the chin touching your chest inhale and slowly take it backward feel the stretch exhale and bend forward inhale and slowly take it back exhale bend forward inhale and slowly take the neck back exhale and bring your head back to the normal position Now we will do the lateral bending of the neck. Exhale and bend the head to the right side. Try to touch the ear to the shoulder without lifting your shoulders up. Inhale and bring the head back to the normal position. Exhale now move your head toward the left side. Keep in mind you should not lift your shoulders up. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale to the right side again and feel the stretch on the opposite side, the left side. Inhale, slowly come back in the middle position. 
exhale, bend toward the left side. Inhale, come back to the center and one more time, exhale toward the right side and feel the stretch on the left side. Inhale, bring your head back to the normal position in the center, exhale, move your head toward the left side and try to touch the ear to the shoulder. Feel the stretch on the right side. Inhale and slowly come back to the center. Now we will go for the twisting of the neck. Exhale and slowly turn your head to the right side with your chin over your shoulder and feel the stretch on the opposite side. Inhale and bring the head back to the center. Exhale. Now move your head toward the left side and feel the stretch on the right side. Inhale. Slowly come back in the middle position, the center, exhale, move your head toward the right side, inhale, bring it back to the center, now exhale, bring your head toward the left side. Inhale and come back to the center once again. Now we will move towards the rotation of the neck. Keep in mind those suffering from cervical spondylitis and uh, severe neck pain should avoid flexing the neck forward and should avoid this rotation practice that we'll do now. Now we'll go for rotation of the neck. Exhale and bring the chin toward the chest. Inhale, take your neck back in the clockwise direction slowly, like this. And exhale and come down. Now we'll rotate in anti clockwise. Once again, inhale, take your neck back. Now in anti clockwise direction. Slowly move your head and Exhale and come down. Now in the clockwise direction again inhale. Take your neck back completely then exhale. Bring it down. Now in the anti-clockwise direction move your neck again slowly. Inhale. Take your neck back slowly and exhale, bring it down and slowly come back, close your eyes, arms by the side and feel the impact of the practice on your body, on your mind. Open your eyes slowly, now we'll go for the shoulders movement, stretching up with the, of the arms. Now, inhale and rise your arms up slowly to the side with the palms facing outward. Feel the stretch. Exhale and bring your arms down slowly. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Now we'll move for the shoulder rotation. Now inhale, raise both the arms up to the level of shoulder. Turn your palm. Place the fingers on the respective shoulders. 
bring your elbows forward, join your elbows. Now rotate both the elbows in clockwise direction, inhale lift your shoulders up, take it back, exhale bring them down, one more time, join your elbows in front, inhale up, exhale down. Now in the opposite direction, exhale down, inhale up, join the elbows, exhale down, take it back as much as you can, inhale up, take it forward as much as you can, exhale and bring your arms down, stretch your arms, turn your palms and bring your arms down like this, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now let us move towards the trunk twisting. First of all, we will do the spinal stretch and then we will do the trunk twisting. For the spinal stretch, spread your legs apart. bit more. Now inhale and lift your arms up, stretch straight, yes. take it back, very nice like this, exhale and bend forward slowly, try to touch the floor. Bring your head down as much as you can. Those suffering from backache should avoid the, this practice, forward bending. Inhale one more time. Lift your arms up. Stretch your spine back. Exhale and bend forward. Feel the stretch. Bend from the lower back. Inhale, lift your arms up, exhale, bring your arms down from the side, stretch your arms, then bring it down. Now for the trunk twisting, keep your legs shoulder width apart, with the feet firmly placed on the mat. Now raise your arms to the level of chest. Now exhale and slowly move toward the right side, keeping the right arm straight and left elbow flex. Look at the thumb of the right hand and feel the stretch. Keep in mind you should, should not move your feet, your legs, your thighs. Inhale, slowly come back in the middle position to the center. Exhale, now turn toward the left side, twist it completely and feel the stretch. Your arms should be at the level of shoulder. Inhale, slowly come back. Exhale, now one more time, move toward the right side. Inhale and come back, exhale, move toward the left side, inhale and slowly come back to the center and bring your arms down, close your eyes and feel them back to the practice. Open your eyes. Now we will move on to the knee movements. Those suffering from osteoarthritis of the knee should avoid the practice, especially in acute condition. Now your feet should be shoulder width apart like this for more stability. Now inhale, lift your arms up to the level of shoulder. Exhale and bend your knees 
and come to the half squatting position. The thighs should be parallel to the floor. Your knees should not pass your toes. Inhale and come up. Exhale and bend down. Toes are spread and relaxed without curling. Make sure you have to bring your weight back towards your heels. If you can't take pressure of your knees, you should do it like this. Bring your weight back towards the heels. Inhale and come up. Lower your arms down. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the loosening practices. Just open your eyes and now we'll begin with the yogasana practices. To start with the standing asanas, first of all we'll do tadasana. The palm tree poster can turn toward a side. Stand with your feet two inches apart for more base of support. First of all, check the alignment of the body. Spine should be neutral, the pelvis neutral, the knees are soft, toes spread, weight is evenly distributed on both feet. Just check the alignment, the spine is elongated, maintaining neutral curve. Now inhale and raise your arms up to the level of shoulder. Interlock your fingers and turn the wrist outward. Inhale and lift your arms up slowly. Stretch up, stretch up, check your whole body is aligned, now slowly raise the heels off the floor and stand up on your toes. Keep focusing at any one point with normal breathing. Exhale, bring the heels down. You can keep your palms on head and relax. Once again, rise your arms up and stretch. Lift your heels up and stand up on your toes. With inhalation and maintain the posture with normal breathing. Keep focusing at any one point. Tadasana provides balance and firmness to the body. Exhale, bring your heels down. Stretch your arms to the sides and bring your arms down, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Open your eyes now, we will go for another balancing poster, Vrikshasana. So can you uh, just turn yourself at the front? Thank you. Yes. So your feet can be uh, two inches apart for more base of support. The feet should be firmly placed on the mat. Now you can bend the right leg with exhalation. Bend the right leg. 
there is a right heel on the left thigh root. Once you attain balance in this, inhale, slowly lift your arms up, turn your palms, lift your arms up for Namaskar Mudra. Join your palms, palms should be pressed towards each other, keep focusing at any one point with the normal breathing, this is very important. The spine should be neutral, knees soft and the standing foot is bearing all the body weight. Exhale, slowly bring your arms down, turn your palm, bring it down and release the leg slowly, very nice, like this. Now we'll repeat the posture on the other side. We'll bend the left knee, place the left heel on the right thigh root with the help of the hand. Once we'll feel we are stable in the posture, we'll inhale and lift the arms up. We can place our hands on the chest also, like this, this is easier version. The palms pressing towards each other. Focus on the central line of your body to help you balance. The gaze forward and normal breathing. Maintain the posture. Inhale. Now take your arms to the sides. Exhale and bring the left foot down. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. This asana helps in neuromuscular coordination. It's excellent for those suffering from Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. It's, it has a very good preventive role basically. and has a preventive role in osteoarthritic conditions of the knee also, preventive role. Now the next poster we move towards Padahastasana, the forward bending poster. Open your eyes, keep your feet 4 inches apart. Just adjust yourself first. Now inhale and raise the arms up slowly. Exhale and slowly bend forward. Bend from the lower back, stretch up from the waist. First place your fingers on the floor and then slowly try to keep your palms beside your feet. Just release your head to gravity, lower your head. Those suffering from cervical problems or severe backache should avoid this posture. Feel the stretch. The abdomen is compressed, the back is stretched. Inhale, slowly rise your arms up. Slowly lift your arms up, exhale and bring your arms down to the sides, relax. Now we will do a modification for those suffering from cervical problem and backache issues. We will place the hand on the knee and we will keep the neck straight. So inhale and raise the arms up slowly, exhale and slowly bend forward. Now we will place our hand on the shins, on the shins just below the knee, below the knee. can hold the knees with your hands, 
like this. Slightly, you can bend your knees. Slightly. Keeping the head straight. Head should be facing forward. And you can go deeper into the pose. Inhale, slowly lift your arms up. Exhale and bring your arms down to the side. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now we will do the counter pose at the Chakrasana. In place your hands at the back of your waist, at the hip joint, like this. Now inhale slowly and move your head back. Exhale, take the torso back. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Feel the chest expansion. This posture is excellent for those suffering from backache and it improves your lung capacity. Inhale and raise your head up. Exhale, bring your arms down and relax. Once again, we'll repeat the posture. Place the hands at the waist like this. Now inhale and take your head back. See the elbows are parallel to each other. The shoulders are pulled back completely. And maintain the posture with normal breathing. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Inhale and raise your head up. Exhale, bring your arms down and relax. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now we'll move ahead towards Trikonasana. Open your legs three to four feet apart. With the feet firmly placed on the mat. Now inhale, raise both your arms up to the level of shoulder slowly. Keep the elbow straight and firm. And look straight ahead. Now turn your right foot towards the right side and press the inner edges of the feet to the floor. Now exhale and slowly bend towards the right side and try to place right hand behind the right leg. Turn your head and look up Gaze towards your middle finger. Don't tilt the head, keep in mind. The sasana strengthens the muscles of the waist, thighs and shoulder. It opens the chest also. Armpits should be opened also. Inhale and slowly come back. R bring your right foot back to the normal position. And now we'll repeat the practice on the left side. Now exhale and slowly bend toward the left side. Look up. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch.
Inhale and slowly come up. Exhale. Bring your arms down and take your feet back. Now join your legs, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. And now we can move towards the sitting postures. First of all, we will do the relaxation pose, Vishramasana. So open your eyes and we will relax in Vishramasana now. I hope you all are doing along with us and not just watching. So this is Vishramasana. The elbows are bent little, palms little bit outside, legs apart, head slightly tilted backward, close your eyes and relax in Vishramasana. Open your eyes. And now we'll do Dandasana, the Samasthiti position for all the sitting postures. Join your legs, keep the palms beside the body, make the body straight, the spine erect, pull your toes gently, keep them natural and neutral. See the spine is aligned. This is Dandasana. From this we will move towards Bhadrasana. Now bend your knees slowly, bend your knees and put the soles of the feet together. Exhale and hold your toes with your hands. Now pull your heels towards your body, close to the perineum. Try to lower your knee towards the floor. The spine is elongated, keep the neck straight, don't raise your shoulders, relax your neck and shoulders into the pose, feel the stretch in the inner thigh muscles, the adductor muscles, spine is elongated and neutral, try to press the knees to the floor. Just focus on releasing hips. Just lengthen and stabilize your spine. The sasana keeps the abdominal muscles healthy. It's excellent in correcting irregular menstruation. It's particularly beneficial for women. Slowly move towards Dandasana. We move towards Dandasana. Next, we'll do Vajrasana. Those suffering from osteoarthritis of the knee joint should avoid sitting in Bhadrasana and Vajrasana both. So. Fold your legs and sit on your heels. Take your right leg back first and then the left. Bend the left knee. Join the big toes with the heels apart and sit on the pits formed. Join your knees in front and place your palms on your knees. Keep the back straight. Posture is excellent for digestive disorders. It's very good for digestion and it strengthens the leg muscles. So 
those who can't sit in this poster comfortably, they can use a cushion or they can use blanket under their ankles. Now we'll move towards Ardha Ushtrasana. Open your eyes and stand on your knees in the kneeling position. This is Ardha Ushtrasana. So place your hands on your hips, with the fingers pointing down. The elbows can be parallel to each other, the shoulders pulled back. Inhale and bend the head backward, exhale and take the torso back. Engage your thighs and buttocks. Stabilize your neck and gently curve through the spine like this. Feet can be relaxed into the poster. Return with inhalation and sit in Vajrasana. This is very good for those people who are suffering from lower back pain. It stretches the abdominal muscles and using the spinal extensors. It is for those people who cannot do the spinal poster Ushrasana, they can first start with Ardha Ushrasana. Now we will move towards Ushrasana. So stand up on your knees again. You can bring your knees and feet a few inches apart for more support. Can place. Uh, now inhale slowly, take your arms back and try to catch your heels, first the right, then the left. Take your neck back, straighten your thighs, lift your chest up, neck is elongated and bend backward as much as possible. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Strengthen the spine and the back muscle. It improves eyesight also as per the text. Now slowly return with inhalation. Slowly return with inhalation one by one. Taking one arm at one time and sit in Vajrasana again. Close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Those suffering from osteoarthritis condition of the knee should avoid the practice. Now we'll move towards the counter pose Shashakasana. It's excellent for anger management, for anxiety management, for stress management. For Shashakasana, spread both the knees few inches apart. Now keep the palms between the knees. Exhale and slowly stretch forward without lifting the buttocks, lowering your chest down, the elbows down, the chin or the forehead down to the floor into the final poster. This is Shashakasana. You can place your forehead also or you can place your chin also. The arms are relaxed at the sides. 
gluteal muscles are stretched, rib cage is expanded, neck muscles are relaxed, they should be relaxed ideally. Take your arms up, stretch back, stretch them back and slowly come back to Vajrasana. We can do this posture with the knees joined also. With the knees joined, we will do the posture now. So, now again exhale slowly and bend forward and we will try to place the forehead on the floor. Excellent posture for those suffering from stress, anxiety, anger. The forehead is resting on the floor. We can take our hands also at back like this, taking your hands back. The arms are relaxing at sides now. This also induces surrendering bhava in you. The feeling of surrender comes with this posture. Inhale and slowly come back to Vajrasana, taking the hands back again and slowly come back to Vajrasana. For those who find it difficult to place their head or chin on the floor, they can use a bolster also or a cushion also. Between their thighs and knees they can place. Now exhale and slowly bend forward and place your chin or the forehead on the bolster like this. The elbows are relaxed, the abdomen is compressed, the back is stretched completely to get all the benefits. Inhale and slowly come back to Vajrasana, taking your arms back, removing the bolster and sit in Vajrasana again. And feel the impact of the practice in your body, in your mind. Next posture we will do Uttan Mandukasana. For Uttan Mandukasana, we will spread both the knees wide apart. Keeping the palms between the thighs, take the help of the palms and spread your knees as much as you can. Now inhale, raise both the arms up, cross both the arms behind the head, placing the right hand over the left shoulder and left over the right. Try to bring your arms close to the ears, keeping the back and neck straight. This is Uttan Manduk Asana, the raised frog poster. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. This is excellent posture for those suffering from cervical issues. This improves lung capacity. As you can see there is maximum chest expansion 
into this poster. Now, while inhaling, slowly raise both the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms back on the knees. Now, bring the knees together and come back to the initial position in Vajrasana. Close the eyes and feel the impact of the practice. For those who find it difficult, they can do a variation to get deep into the poster. In this poster, sir, can you uh, move your face towards the wall? Yes. Spread your knees. Now, slowly inhale, lift your arms up again. Interlock your fingers and place your hands on your head. Now slowly take it downward to the cervical region, to the neck region. And then slowly open your palms and cross your hands little bit. Cross your hands little bit. Now slowly take it inside. See, the elbows are almost perpendicular. Now, the right hand in, is on the left shoulder and left on the right. So, in this way, you can go deeper into the poster. If you find it difficult at first, you can start like this. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale. Bring the arms down, sit in Vajrasana again, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practice. Now, we will move towards Vakrasana, for that sit in Dandasana first. Vakrasana means the twisting poster, Vakra means twist. Excellent posture for those suffering from diabetes. It's very good for toxification also. And it makes the spine flexible. Those suffering from disc issues have to be careful. So, for Vakrasana, first bend the right leg and place the foot beside the left knee. Now, take the right hand back and bring the left arm around the right knee and place the palm beside the right foot slowly. Exhale and turn your body and head to the right. The focus should be on elongating the spine over rotating. For rotation, use your core muscles more instead of external force of the arms. Rotate as much as possible. The spine is elongating. See, if you find it difficult, you can catch your knees in the beginning and then you can slowly move towards catching your big toe. Inhale and slowly come back. Take your neck back. Lift your arm back. Lower your leg. Take your hand back. And now I'll repeat the practice on the other side. Now bend the left leg and place the left foot beside the right knee. 
Now bring the right arm around the left knee and place the palm beside the left foot or you can catch your ankle also or the toe. Now exhale and twist your head and body to the left. Spine is elongated, the shoulders are, are they are in one line. Feel the stretch. Try to bring the chin on the shoulder, the spine pulled up. Keep the other foot relaxed. Inhale and slowly come back. Taking your head back, your arm back, and leg back, and relax in Vishramasana. Relax in Vishramasana, legs apart, elbows slightly bent, taking the head little bit backward, not hyperextend the neck here. Keep in mind, close your eyes and feel the impact of the practices, all the sitting practices. Now we'll move towards the prone posters. We'll do the relaxation poster for Makarasana. So, Lie down on your abdomen in Makarasana. Keep your feet wide apart with the heels inside and toes outside like this. Now rest your head on your palm, one palm or another with the elbows flexed and you can rest your head on that. You can turn your head toward the right or the left, both are fine. You can close your eyes and relax in Makarasana, the crocodile pose. It's excellent for cardiac patients, for those suffering from acute respiratory conditions. Breathe deeply into the posture. Now we'll move towards the next poster, Bhujangasana, the cobra pose. For Bhujangasana, join your legs together. Now inhale and stretch your arms forward. Exhale and place your palms beside the chest. The elbows close to the body. Toes are together, the knees are together, the heels are together, with the chin on the ground. Now slowly inhale and lift the chin and the chest up to the navel region. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. The pa elbows are parallel and the shoulders are down. Maintain the even curve in the spine. The chin is slightly lifted up. Maintain an even curve in the neck. The chest is reaching forward and up. The elbows are bent. The shoulder blades are down. The calf muscles are passive and relaxed. This is excellent posture for reducing abdominal fat, 
very good for breathing difficulty. Also, those suffering from breathing problems, it opens the chest. It's very good for backache problems also. Elevates constipation also. Tones ovaries. Exhale and slowly release the posture, lowering the chest, chin down, and can relax in Makarasana again. Feel the impact of practice. Embodying in your mind. The next poster will do the Shalabhasana, the locust pose. So, Shalavasana is very good for those suffering from sciatica, back pain, and it tones buttocks and thighs. And those suffering from hypertension should avoid the practice. So, again, join your legs, get ready for Shalabhasana. Now, chin on the ground, stretch your arms again forward. Now, put both the palms beside the respective thighs at the side. You can also make a fist and can place it under the thighs. You can make a fist of the hands and can place it under the thighs like this. Now, inhale and slowly lift both the legs up without bending at the knee. With the toes pointed, lengthen the spine as you lift up. Maintain the poster. There's a tendency to hold your breath in the, into the poster. Exhale and bring the legs down and relax. For those who find it difficult, they can do with one leg at a time. This we have taught in our previous yesterday's session. Now, you can relax in Makarasana again. And feel the impact of the practice. We have done a lot of variations of Bhujangasana and Mak uh, Makarasana and Shalabhasana in our yesterday's session. The emphasis was more on the prone posters yesterday. Today, the emphasis will be more on supine posters. So, let us move towards the supine posters now. Lie down on your back. Can relax for a while in Shavasana. Now, open your eyes, bend both your knees, bend both your knees. Your knees and feet can be hip width apart. Now bring your heels towards the buttocks. You can hold your ankles for the final poster with your hands. Now inhale, raise your buttocks and spine off the floor to form a bridge slowly. The chest 
is pressed towards the chin, the thighs are parallel, the knees are hip distance apart, the shoulder blades are squeezed together, feet are fixed, the shoulders are fixed, it's a close chain posture. I look up towards the sky and avoid turning your head into the pose. It's excellent for those suffering from backache. It's a heart opener also, it can be considered as it broadens the chest. You can feel your rib cage expanding when you inhale into the pose. Exhale and slowly come down. Straighten your legs. Relax in Shavasana and feel them back to the practice. Now those who find it difficult to catch their ankles with the hands, they can do another variation. Just bend the knees and they can simply place your palms on the floor. Now slowly inhale and lift your buttocks up, the spine up as much as you are comfortable. Ideally, the chest should come close to the chin, but you can do it as much as you can. If you cannot do this much, you can lift a little bit lower than this. Exhale and slowly come down without any jerk and relax on your back. And if you still find it difficult to do this pose, you can place a bolster under your buttocks and can do the poster. can place the bolster under the buttocks like this with the knees bent and relax into the pose. The chest is lifted up. The knees and feet are comfortably apart. You can straighten your hands. You can place on Bolster you can place on the mat also like this, palms facing floor. Now slowly come back, remove the bolster slowly and release the poster and relax in Shavasana and feel the impact of the practice. Now, we'll move towards next posture, Uttan Padasana. This strengthens the lower abdominal muscles, improves breathing capacity, Strengthens your navel center. Join your legs together and open your eyes first. The hands should be placed by the sides with the palms facing the floor. Now, while inhaling, slowly raise both the legs to form a 30 degree angle. Slowly lift both the legs, the knees straight. 
you hold this poster, you will feel his vibrations in the lower abdominal region if you hold it for more time. Just maintain the posture as much as you can. Exhale and slowly bring your legs down and relax in Shavasana. Now for those suffering from back issues, they need to be very careful. They should not lift both the legs, we will do variation now. For those people who are suffering from back pain, how they should do the practice, how they can do Uttan Padasana with single leg. Now join the legs together, bringing the palm by the side, the palm facing floor. Now bend the left knee first like this, placing the left foot firmly on the mat. Now inhale and lift the right leg as much as you can like this. This is for those people who are suffering from back pain, lower back pain. They should do like this. Exhale and slowly bring your leg down and straighten your other leg also. Now we'll repeat the practice on the other side. Now bind, bend the right leg, right knee, the right foot firmly placed on the mat. Now inhale slowly and lift the left leg up, keeping the knee straight, strengthen the quadricep muscles also and lower abdominal muscle. It's excellent for knee issue also, those suffering from knee problem. For them quadricep strengthening is very important. They should do with this both legs straight, but exhale and bring your leg down. Release the other leg also, straighten the other leg also and relax. In Shavasana and feel the impact of the practice. Next posture is Ardha Halasana. This is very beneficial for the management of hypertension and dyspepsia. It also tones the lower abdominal muscles. Now join your legs together and hands should be placed at the side, the palm facing floor. Open your eyes. Now inhale and slowly raise both the legs up to 90 degree angle without bending at the knee, toes pointing up, the body form from hip to the shoulder should be kept straight. Feel the impact in the lower abdominal muscles of course. Keep breathing and maintain the posture. Tones your buttocks and thighs also, especially the lower abdominal muscles. Exhale and slowly bring both the legs down, very slowly with full abdominal control. This is very important. What people do, they lift their leg and when they take it down, they do it very fast. That should be avoided. Relax in Shavasana now and feel the impact of the practice. Now those people who find it difficult to lift their legs together 90 degree, they can do a variation by placing the hands under the hips. So we'll do a variation now, we'll lift both the legs together. Again we'll join your legs like this and now the hands would be placed under the buttocks, yes. Now slowly 
We'll inhale and raise both the legs up to 90 degree without bending at the knees. Maintain the posture with normal breathing. Exhale and slowly lower your legs down with full abdominal control. Very slowly bring your legs down. Now again, like Uttan Padasana, those suffering from back pain should not lift both the legs together. They should do it with one leg at a time. So they can lift one leg like this, can keep the other knee bent or straight also, both are acceptable. Exhale and slowly lower your leg down. You can place your hands under the buttocks or at the side, that's your wish. Now we'll repeat this other side. Inhale, lift the leg up. Keeping the knee straight. Feel the stretch, the hamstrings are getting stretched, the quadriceps are getting strengthened in this. Exhale and slowly lower your leg down. Now release the other leg also, straighten the leg and relax in Shavasana and feel the impact of the practice. Next, we'll move towards Pavan Muktasana. The sasana improves metabolism, it's excellent for digestive disorders and vata related imbalances in the body. So, join your legs, bend the knees and bring the thighs to the chest. Interlock your fingers and hold your shins. Now pull the knee toward the chest. Those who are suffering from neck pain should avoid lifting the neck. They can do this much only with the neck and shoulders relaxed. Now exhale, raise your head up and try to touch the chin or nose to the knees. And feel the relaxation in the lower back muscles. This relaxes the lower back, abdomen is completely compressed. Exhale, bring the head and the legs down, release your hands and bring the legs down, relax in Shavasana. Now, those who find it difficult to do, they can also do with one leg at a time. Ek Path Pavan Muktasana. We'll do a variation now of the poster. So, for Ek Path Pavan Muktasana, join your legs together. Now, just bend the right knee first. Keep in mind, it is right knee first to prom promote the peristalsis. Now, interlace your finger again. Catch your shin, pull the knee toward the chest. Scan, lift your neck with exhalation and try to touch the nose to the knee.
inhale, lower head down, slowly exhale, release your leg down, release your leg down and we'll repeat the posture at the side. Now bend the left knee like this, interlace your fingers, catch your shin, pull the knee towards the chest. Now exhale, lift your head and try to touch the nose to the knee. Inhale, bring your head down, exhale, release the neck down and relax in Shavasana. Keep your arms and legs apart, with the palms facing sky, close your eyes, take a deep breath and exhale. Now try to relax each and every part of your body. See the depth of your breathing, relax your feet, your toes, your heel, your shins, your knees, your thighs, your buttocks, your arms, your shoulder joint, Feel the relaxation in your lower back muscles in your middle back in your upper back. Now, feel the relaxation in your abdominal muscles. Your chest muscles are slowly getting relaxed. There is no tension inside. Your neck muscles are slowly getting relaxed. Your facial muscles are slowly getting relaxed. Your chin, your cheeks, your ears, your lips, your eyes, your eyebrows, your forehead, the eyebrow center, your head, the back of the head, your whole body is slowly getting relaxed. Now feel when you're inhaling your abdomen is bulging up and when you're exhaling it sinks in. With each inhalation energy is entering inside your body. With each exhalation, you are getting free of all your tensions and worries. Now, join your legs and raise the right arm up, turn toward the right side. Be there for some time. Now slowly take support of your left hand and sit down. Now get ready for Kapalabhati Kriya. Sit in any meditative posture. You can sit in Padmasana, Vajrasana or Sukhasana. Ardha Padmasana also. Keep your eyes closed. Keep the back and neck straight. Place your hands on your knees in Jnana Mudra. Now inhale deeply and exhale with forceful contraction of the abdominal muscles. 
कि the exhalation is active and inhalation is passive. Keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. Movement should come from the lower abdominal muscles. Just forceful exhalations with pulling the navel toward the spine. The face relax completely. No tension on face with a smiling face. You can do it one stroke at a second or you can double the ratio. Do the practice for one, min one minute. With 60 strokes per minute. After completing, just deeply exhale and relax. This is excellent for removing kapha related disorders. If you have attended our theory session on Shat Karma, you must be aware of that. It improves the functioning of respiratory center also. Now let us begin Anulom Vilom Praya, the prerequisite. Now keep the left palm on the left knee in Jnana Mudra, it is already. Now make Nasagra Mudra with the right hand and Exhale completely first from both the nostrils and then close the right nostril with the help of the thumb. Close the right nostril and inhale slowly to the left. Then slowly exhale to the right nostril. Now Slowly inhale to the right nostril and exhale to the left. This is one round of Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. Do at least four such rounds at your own pace. Keep your back and neck straight, keep in mind while doing your practice. Long, deep, slow breath going inside the body and leaving the body. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam purifies all the energy channels inside your body. So while doing the practice, feel all the Nadis are getting purified. There should not be any sound of breath. Body should be stable. Just focus on your breath. This practice balances sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. After completing your rounds, Exhale to the left nostril and relax. Many people do this mistake, they immediately open their eyes highly advisable to keep your eyes closed and feel the impact of the practice in your body in your mind. Now we will move towards primary pranayam. Close your eyes, keep your eyes closed and keep your hands in Jnana Mudra like this. Now we will inhale and exhale slowly making a deep steady humming sound like a female bee. So let us do this practice, inhale deeply and while exhaling
One last time, inhale deeply. Keep your eyes closed and feel the impact of the practice. Brahmi Pranam calms your mind and tranquilizes you. So try to feel the changes inside, in your body, in your mind. Now, before starting meditation, first wash your body. If it is relaxed, comfortable, watch your breathing. Is it fast, slow or rhythmic? Watch your thoughts at this moment. Are they sattvic or oriented? Keep your breathing slow and deep. Watch your thoughts and emotions. Just be a witness to your thoughts and your emotions. Develop Prishta Bhav. Don't fight with your thoughts. Just observe your thoughts and focus on your breath and meditate. Now, adopt a resolution in your mind. Do sankalpa for a day. Any one sankalpa. I commit myself to always be in a balanced state of mind. I commit to do my duty to self, family, at work, to society, and to the world for the health, happiness, and harmony and peace at large. I commit to follow human values and work with devotion for the development of the nation. Now, join your palms for Shanti Pat. Bring your palms and your eyes. Gently remove and open your eyes. So this is the end, end of the session. I hope you all enjoyed the session. Thank you so much for joining in. Namaste. Have a nice day to all of you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.